Comes out the other side, feeds Grabner, has a shot block. Hamannick fires, he scores! And the Islanders lead it one to nothing. Terrific shot by Travis Hamannick as he's gonna bounce this one off the post, off the back of the goalie's leg, and then into the net. Pass. Lays it to Bailey, Nadia wins, who shoots, he scores! That may have changed direction in front. Yoensu took the shot, and the Islanders lead it two to nothing. Well, the Islanders play some give and go between Yoensu, Martin, and Bailey. Finding the holes, getting your legs going, and when you've got that happening, lifting. Back up, finds Hamannick, Travis Hamannick in front, they score! And a power play goal, and the Islanders lead it three to nothing. Well, the Islanders showing so much tenacity, and boy, you can just see it in the way they're playing, the way they're going at their battles. You watch Tavares along the side of the boards; he gets knocked down and gets back to be separated by linesman Scott Crystal. But here comes Grabner, shoots, he scores. Number 20 for Michael Grabner, four to nothing Islanders. Well, Kanapka. <laughs> Kanuck is getting patted on the back from guys in the Islander bench as though he'd scored. He helped because with he and England engaging in conversation, that opened up a little more ice for Grabner. Well, I think everybody forgot about Michael Grabner, certainly with only one defenseman back. You're right, Kanuck. John setting up shot behind the net, put it in front from Molson. He peels it back to Hammond, tipped in by Tavares. Great pass by Hammond. Tavares finishes five to nothing Islanders. Well, just a tremendous shift by the entire five guys on the ice, and it was like a power play for the Islanders as they just continued to move their feet. And again, talking about the one-on-one -on -one battles. Well, the Islanders having a blast, and here comes Haley driving on the tag. He's in. He scores. Now it's official. It's become memorable. Well, maybe we have to look back at what Coach Capuano said, and it wasn't just about his fighting ability. He's got some offensive skill, Holly, because what a great move he puts on Latang, and we might get a goal. Ottawa, that the fans there blame Carrie Underwood for the trade. Molson shot, he scores! Seven to two, New York. Ah, uh, it's a good shot by Matt Molson from a quite a ways out. Flurry does not look very sharp to me, how he struggled earlier. We saw him when he first came in, and, and he doesn't look like he's warmed up. And, I mean, good shot. Gina, Parento, Molson's at the hash marks. The pass to Tavares, robbed twice by Flurry, but the third one goes in. It's been that kind of night. Power play goal during the five on three, and the Islanders lead. To two. I was just thinking how they got to get a shot towards the net. They got to get the puck at the net. They're doing a lot of passing. And finally, so they'll rotate. And oh, there's no, Michael. It's Grabner. He's going for another one. He's got it. <laughs> Nine to three Islanders. Grabner with a hat trick. Well, he just closes the gap so fast on the defenseman that they try to make plays that they normally could make. But not with this guy. The puck launched into the Islanders' zone. And time has been stopped with 1.4 remaining on the clock. But no, they're going to say that's enough. The whistle has blown. And one of the more memorable games in Islander regular season history has ended with several players still on their feet. But the Islanders, with a profound statement, defeating the Penguins 9-3. And a game that they look to for the last week ever since the events in Pittsburgh with the Johnson Di Pietro fight and the Talbot hit on Como. The Islanders wanted this, they got it, and they certainly gave the fans as much, if not more, than they bargained for. Well, you gotta look, no one's left the building, Howie. I mean, the score's 9-3, and a lot of times by at this point in time in the game, you'd have half the people would have left. Mario up in their own minds at least a week ago and delivered in every respect. Well, you got to give them credit, how as we watch the three stars, Michael Grabner being the first one. But you know what? They they said this was going to be an intense physical game, and they backed it up 
to a T. Not only did they come out fighting with lots of intensity, a lot of emotion, they scored goals and won the game convincingly. So Grabner is the third star. Olsen's the second. They each had two goals. Well, who do you think is going to be the first, Howie? Has he still got his equipment on? Talk about Haley. <laughs> I would think so. He's he certainly got them all going. I don't think so. Well. And the first star of the game, number 91, John Tavares. Well, you know what? There's some poetic justice there for John Tavares because I still say a lot of what happened tonight was born out of the slamming of the bench door by Tavares after the hit by Dion Phaneuf on Tuesday night, indicating that enough is enough. 